Hey guys, man. Take these off because it's like cloudy here. Raindrops are coming down a little bit. But I'm just let you know what's going on. I'm back at the shop. And uh, I've been back here probably since 11 15. It's now 12 o'clock. And I was meeting a guy originally that was set for 12 at 11 30. process just keeps going man just you know this person said they had all this experience and um like they normally do man <laughs> had his own business and, and you know he's looking to work for someone you know which i felt kind of funny about that anyway you know, when you have someone that had their own business and they're looking to work for someone because i've seen scenarios where that person uh has worked for you but then scheme some type of way for to do work on their own and then end up doing their own business again and it's a little fickle when it comes to hiring somebody that had their own business before i've seen it more go bad than good um but anyway the guy came and we talked and i was just like oh you look kind of familiar i couldn't picture you know he said he lived in germantown and and uh you know, I said I lived not too far away, but you know, never. But you know, this is not a big deal to keep talking about this. So I wanted to see what's up with the mower. So and before he told me to know how to drive, any zero turn, walk behind, uh, stander, whatever. So he knew how to work. You know, the standards for X mark right, uh, walk behinds, hydros, zero turns, skag. This is what he said. So open up the trailer, and he looks at the right stander, and he's like. Uh, like he, he he thinks, but you know, this looks there was some hesitation. So anyway, he got up on it, and then you know, he started to take it down, and 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 he just looked jerky with it, and he's shaking his head, and he's just he just looking like uncomfortable. And I got up on it and showed this is how you use it, whatever, and you know, okay, no problem. But I just wasn't getting a good feeling off the first one. So take the the, the Skag 48 down, took it down, or he did. Oh, I'm sorry. He tries to say he's never used it before. Like, okay, well, that might be a big deal. You might have used a Skag walk behind and it may be in hydro, but that might, it might have been the Z SWZT. Okay, I get it. But the handles and, you know, the, the controls are all the same, you know. So, anyway, let him mess with it for a minute. And then he took it down, put the Velky up, took it down. And he's looking jerky. He looks uncomfortable. He, and he's doing turns. And he's pushing the the handles down to lift the deck up as he's turned making his turns. I'm like, what the heck is he doing? And he kept doing it. And I stopped him. Said, can I ask you why you're pushing the the mower down to, to, to every time you turn you got the deck up? He says, oh, he says, show you I got control of it. I'm like, yeah, but you don't do that when you're cutting grass. You don't push the deck up while as you're going i mean what for what like if you get into some obstacle or something you needed to push the deck up or up a curb or <laughs> he just kept saying like that's showing i got control that you know i'm sure some people could come here and can't even control the, the the mower can't even start it so that you know he's trying to get, like get brownie points for it like because he was doing that that showed like he's experienced i'm like uh, no that you don't need to do that for what so I can start to see a little bump in the heads, you know, because he's seeing how I feel to the point of like, he keeps trying to say he's experienced and, you know, and I said, all right, let me go back up. Like I always tell people to back up on the Velky. So he was backing up and, you know, he was going a little straight, but then he started jackknife and he said, yeah, you know, most people would jackknife. And I'm like, all right, you, you're going slow, but do it again. Then he's starting to jackknife. I'm like, okay. So then he, I said, all right, just go. I want to see you just do turns, you know. And uh, it was terrible, man. Uh, he got back on the mower, like to put it back on the on the trailer. And I showed him what I wanted, and I said, "There's just no need to push it down." He's still kind of, like kind of fighting me on this. Like, it shows that I have control. You know, anybody I know experience will know that that means you got control. And I'm just like, okay. So then it started to rain a little bit, and I said, "You want to see on the zero turn?" He says, "Well, I don't know. I don't see any point because it looks like you you don't like the fact." of what I'm doing, so I don't know what's the point of me up there. I'm like, plus it's raining, and I'm like, it's only a drop or two. So I was like, if you're complaining about the drop or two, you're wanting a job, and yet you don't, I'm like, he just started walking away and said, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
I was like, okay, yeah, thank you. Because you saved me from a headache. I wasted time that I could be doing proposals right now. Took a chance to try to see what's up with this. And look what happened. Oh, I'm so like annoyed, man. Annoyed, annoyed, annoyed. Uh, Cause everyone says they're freaking experienced. I know everything. I know this, I know that. And then they come here, they can't even operate things right. And then try to tell you like they're experienced still. Like, you don't know how many people I deal with. Uh, to know that what you're doing is whack. <laughs> I ain't say that, but I'm just saying like, who does this? Anyway, guys, I'm not going to go all day about it. I've talked about it enough. Um, I'm about to go ahead to probably the office to pick up some mail, but I'm going to get these uh, proposals done and uh, get somewhere stationary to send them out. And that's all to it. So I don't know. This may be the end. I don't know. Uh, I'm just <laughs> annoyed with people, man. I'm just annoyed. All right, guys, I'll get back with you later.